Welcome back once again my dear friend. In the previous video we learned about the dimensional formula and uh, dimensional equation. And after that we are learning here two methods to write the dimensional formula of any physical quantity. And those are, first one is uh, using formula and second one is using the unit of that physical quantity. So, right? Using unit of the physical quantity physical quantity pq i'm writing for sorry right i'm really feeling difficult uh, to write all okay so uh, using formula uh, i'm just giving you example because if you learn by example you you uh, easily understand okay so uh, any physical quantity you tell me uh, let's say 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 volume okay or density what do we say let's say density density what do you mean by density density is is mass over volume all right that's the formula of density and what is the unit of density can you tell me unit of density is what ah good that's mass from here you can easily see mass means uh, kz all right and volume means uh, uh, volume is uh, you know length times breadth times height so it's simply meter cube but since it's a denominator, it will go up. So it's kz per meter cube. So you should know the unit, all right? So whenever you want to write the dimensional formula, either you should know the formula of that, you know, some related formula, some relationship related to that, or you should know the unit of that physical quantity. So if you know the density, then very easy. Now see, mass, uh, what is mass? Uh, mass is itself the physical, fundamental physical quantity. So no problem, mass is as it is. And what is volume? volume is length you know times again breadth breadth is also length you know uh, that is also length and again another volume that's uh, length times breadth times height that's you know that's again length so mass and again length is three times all right how many times three times so i'm just cubing it so it's going to be m l minus three all right so the dimensional formula of density i'm getting m with dimension one length with dimension minus three and time with dimension zero always represent uh, almost in m l and t form all right so what is the what is the dimensional form of density m l minus three t zero and now using the unit so kz always represents mass so let's write mass and how much power kz has one so it's one meter what is meter meter is the unit of length so length has got minus 3 unit and now temperature is 0 so how easy it is very very easy it is one using formula another using unit unit is always easier if you know uh, if you know the unit okay it's it's always easier and faster method so that was the two methods of uh, writing the answer formula let me give you one more example uh, you tell me anything let's say uh, area right very simple area what is area that's length into breadth length into breadth all right in short we used to write l into b so length is also l breadth is also l because both represents the the, the distance you know length so it's l square so m will be zero l2 and t zero so the dimensional formula of area is m0 l0 l2 l to the power 2 t0 and if you go by the unit method, then area, the unit of area, you know, the unit of area is meter square. So therefore, dimension formula of area is, or dimension equation of area is, yes, it's just meter. So kz is how much? Zero. That is m zero. Meter means length square and time means second is how much? Zero. You know, so second is zero. Kz is also zero here, power. So second means time to the power zero so that's the uh, that's the dimension formula of area one more let me show you work done all right work done do you know what is work done yes that's force times distance so first we should know the dimension formula of force here by the way the dimensional formula of force we don't know but we know the formula of force that is mass times acceleration all right and again distance and now if you go to the fundamental things then it's mass and acceleration is change in velocity you know change in velocity over some time period that's finally velocity and distance is distance so uh, mass 
right and a change in velocity we know that length per second and this is uh, time so and uh, this is distance that is again length all right so uh, the the walk done dimensional formula is going to get m1 length uh, here 1 and here 1 so length square and t is minus 1 here and this one will go up then it will also be minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 it is now all together so m1 l2 t minus 2 that's the dimension formula of work done from the uh, from the formula and if you know the the unit of the work done right unit of work done uh, work or work done or work simply that's joule but do you know what is joule joule is newton per meter and what is newton again newton is actually kz meter per second square per second square we can write s minus 2 and then again uh, uh, this is uh, meter so meter and now let's write the 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 work done's dimension formula kz means m0 and this m represents meter so it is length 1 and this is second inverse 2 so it's time minus 2 okay and again this length 1 so overall if you sum up all then the work done is going to be m0 this l1 and l1 it's l2 and t minus 2 so this is the dimension formula for the work done all right so this is how uh, we have to write uh, the dimension formula we learned here two methods and we're gonna learn the dimension formula of other uh, many uh, physical quantities uh, in the coming videos